Hello and welcome to George Daniel Field. In a few minutes, commencement exercises for Admiral King will begin. But before that, I'd like to introduce a special guest, Superintendent John W. Pavick. Good evening, Mr. Pavick. Good evening, Wendy. It's a little bit chilly out here, but it uh, looks like it's going to be a nice night. Oh, I'm real excited. It is uh, really a nice night. Uh, last night we had a little problem with some rain, but tonight seems like it's going to be maybe a tad chilly, but a nice night. You know, every year you tell me you love graduations, but I, sure I can't help but think this year is really special because of all the challenges the district's been through. Well, we've had some problems this year. What kinds of things have you had to face? Well, of course, you know, we had the levee and then we had uh, some activity with our desegregation and, of course, our pursuit of excellence in our academic programs uh, occupied most of our time. Now, when you mentioned the levy, that was on the ballot three different times, and it passed this past May. What do you think the difference was? Why did it pass the last time? Well, I think this time around the people uh, were given some alternatives, and the alternatives were to reduce some ver uh, various programs. And I think once they realized that they have some choices, and the choices aren't very palatable, that they decided to pass it. And of course, we did pass it by a sizable margin, for which we were eternally grateful. You mentioned just a moment ago excellence in education. What kinds of things is the district working on as far as excellence? Well, I think some of our new curriculum uh, that we're putting together now and some of the new programs, particularly as they relate to the magnet programs, are very exciting. I think now we can compete with any private institution in, in and around this area. As a matter of fact, in the state of Ohio, as far as that's concerned, uh, we now have the opportunity to offer programs to young people that will pique their interest and, and and hopefully we'll, we'll deal with their, their interests and, and their abilities. And, and to that end, we've, uh, we've directed our energies and talents, particularly with the magnets. You mentioned magnets, but that's also part of desegregation. What's well, going on with the desegregation? In the desegregation program, of course, it's been a very interesting year. We've, uh, we've got some problems, but uh, that's not to be, uh, uh, that's, that's expected. Uh, these kinds of issues that we're dealing with are very emotional issues. I think that um, overall, though, Lorraine has come through this desegregation program very well compared to districts such as Cleveland and others where the uh, student enrollment's going down. Lorraine, as a result of the manner in which we've pursued this desegregation program, has caused our enrollment to go up, and, uh, I, and I expect it to continue to increase rather than decrease as it has in other cities. Now, I understand there's a special meeting coming up that has to do with desegregation. What's that all about? Well, that's the bilingual program, and of course there's some problems that we have to deal with out in South Lorraine, and we do have a mon meeting scheduled this coming Monday. Now, I, I know that it, this is graduation, it's an ending, but it's also a beginning. What are you looking forward to next year? Well, I think next year is going to be a very exciting year. I think next year we can put the final capstone on our magnet programs and really spend our energies and time uh, improving the quality of education here in Lorraine. Mr. Pavick, do you have any final comments before we go to the field? No, let's go to the field. <laughs> okay, let's, go, let's go to the field now for commencement.
At this time, gentlemen, would you please take your hats off as I'd like to call upon Reverend Jim Smucker of the North Minister Presbyterian Church for our invocation. Will everyone please stand? Let us pray. Almighty God, creator of the universe and all that is, this is a time of great joy, celebration, and excitement. We pray, Lord, that in this hour, you would open our hearts to your presence and to your will, and that you would also help us to offer up heartfelt thanks for all who have made this evening possible. We're thankful, Lord, for a community that supports the pursuit of excellence in education, for faculty and administration, community leaders, parents, colleagues and peers and students who have gone through a process of learning and who are now about ready to embark into a new future, into new beginnings. Great God, be with us this evening. Amen. Now I'd like to call upon Jim Nicholas Cody to lead us in our alma mater. Okay, class, please be seated. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you the people that are seated behind me who will be with us this evening. Mr. Jack Tillick, guidance counselor at Admiral King High School. Doug Beckler, please hold your applause till I get, up, get through them, please. Doug Beckler, business manager for the Lorraine City Schools. Dr. Peter Lohr, director of personnel. Mr. Ed Sinegar, board member. Bill Kazusko, vocational director. Dr. Jim Buford, pupil personnel director. Dr. Peter Demian, executive director of curriculum and instruction. Mr. Ken Kramer, member of the Lorraine Board of Education. 
Mrs. B. Nemesek, Vice President of the Lorraine Board of Education. Mrs. Joan Brumbach, Treasurer. Mrs. Dorothy Anderson, President of the Lorraine Board of Education. Fred Churchill, Athletic Director. Reverend Jim Smucker of the North Minister Presbyterian Church. Superintendent John Pavick, Superintendent of Lorraine City Schools. Mr. Ron Ruskin, member of the Lorraine Board of Education and Mrs. Wendy Langendurfer, communication specialist. Thank you. It is a pleasure to welcome all of you here this evening for the Admiral King High School commencement ceremonies of 1988. In particular, I'd like to further welcome the parents relatives and friends of those who are to receive their diplomas tonight. You can be proud of their success on this great occasion. The focus of our high school has been to create an enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate a desire to render service, to promote worthy leadership, and to encourage the development of character in all of the students. This occasion honors those students who have enthusiastically and intensively completed their formal education. This graduation ceremony gives recognition to those young men and women seated before us, and they will be remembered as one of the finest classes to have received their education at Admiral King. They have been characterized as being dedicated, cooperative, and hardworking by many professional and support staff members at the school. These traits they will find will be the necessary fiber and strength that is required throughout all of life as they commence upon new challenges that will now lie before them. I am sure you, as well as I, wish them luck as they meet these tasks. Doctor called a service plaque and honor graduates. Of all the honors this school can award to its members, None is considered more important than the recognition of being named to either the Dr. Joseph Calda service plaque or being recognized as an honor graduate. It is a tradition to have the principal read the list of those seniors in the top 5% of their class in each category at commencement. There are numerous opportunities for young people to contribute to the operation of this school during their four-year high school career. They may earn service points by participation in music, athletics, dramatics, clubs, publications, student council, teachers of office aiding, ushering, concession stand working, etc. Those graduating seniors who of all members of their class have made the greatest contribution to the school will now be listed in numerical order ascending to the person who has the most service points. The students will stand as their names are read. I will ask the audience to withhold applause until all Dr. Call to Service Plaque Award winners are standing. The Dr. Call to Service Award winners are Heather Heyer, Martha Perez, Richard Slasevich, Barbara Gonzalez, Jamie Gonzalez, Andrea Reese, Laura Davis, Kristen Keating, Stephanie Smith, Amy Kohler, Deanna Romas, Susan Curta, Richard Demacchia, Christina Freeman, and number one, Lynn Rittenauer. Please be seated. And now to the honor graduates, those scholars who have maintained the highest academic excellence during these four years. This is what education is all about. To have reached this high level of achievement, these seniors have made many sacrifices and have exerted much self-discipline. And we congratulate them for their willingness to give so much of themselves. Sharing in this honor certainly are the families of these young people, for they have provided the proper environment within the home so that their children could concentrate on their schoolwork. Doubtless, mothers and fathers have made some sacrifices of their own as they encourage their sons and daughters to do their very best. 
We are proud of those pupils whose names have just been read as the ones to be engraved on the Dr. Call to Service plaque. But we are doubly proud of those outstanding scholars whose names will go on the twin plaque to be displayed in the halls of Admiral King forever. The names of the honor graduates will also be given in numerical order, ascending to the students who ranks number one in this year's class. Will you please again withhold your applause until all students are standing. The honor graduates are Michael Kacher, Sarah Wolak, Scott Lavish, Dennis McCartney, Gretchen Mischik, Peter Plumeridis, Jason Smith, Brian Amison, Matthew Winias, Roxanne Amiri, Amy Kohler, Stephen Lee, Rosanna Castillo, Jim Wong, and number one in the class, Gregory Woolwich. Please be seated. And now I'd like to call Superintendent of the Lorraine City Schools, Superintendent John W. Pavick. Thank you, Dr. Coleman. Now, this represents the seventh year I've had this type of experience in my 20th graduation ceremony, and I never fail to get excited about the activities that occur on evenings like this. And I'm very happy to share this evening with you because I want to commend all the parents and the members of our community for their support of our educational system that ensures a quality instructional program for all of our young people. I'm particularly proud to uh, personally thank all of you tonight for all of you that supported our school issue this last month. It would be our sincere hope that we'll continue to provide this quality of instruction that we have been providing to our young people for years to come. Certainly, I'd like to extend my congratulations to the uh, students of Admiral King High School for their 13 years of successful uh, uh, achievement here at Admiral King. Uh, this evening is an ending, a conclusion of a process that began these 13 years ago, this process called formal education. Let me suggest that this process was not to prepare you to end or conclude a portion of your life, but rather to prepare you for a a new life. So this evening I greet you as citizens of the world. The very fact that you've completed your studies and are part of this audience tonight means that the 13 years have prepared you to accept the responsibilities of citizenship and to meet those demands that go with it. Tonight I'm extremely honored to introduce three outstanding students from this graduating class. Each of them will speak on the topic that is printed in your program. The first student, Dennis McCartney, the son of Michelle and Dennis McCartney. Dennis has been quite active in extracurricular activities. His activities include student council representative several years, active member of the Trident yearbook staff, honored at all four scholastic achievement banquets, junior director to the executive board of the Key Club, placed second place in the Voice of, America, uh, Voice of Democracy contest, and has been a teacher aide. This year, he's president of the Key Club. Dennis is also secretary of the National Honor Society. In the community, Dennis is very active in his church activities, president of his church group, uh, youth group. In the fall, Dennis will be attending Lorraine Community College on a trustee scholarship. He plans on transferring to Bowling Green after the completion of his associate degree, where he'll pursue a four-year degree in registered nursing. Dennis McCartney.
For the Admiral King class of 1988, tonight officially draws to an end our high school careers. The path that we decided to take four short years ago has suddenly been cut off, and the doors that opened wide in August of 1984 have closed behind us. What do we do now? We look back to what we've accomplished and what we've missed, at the good times and the bad, and the fun times and the sad. Many of us have not experienced the same accomplishments and failures, the same fun and laughter, and the same sadness and heartbreak. But there is one thing that we all have all shared, and that is the learning experience. We aren't the only ones who have worked hard all this time so that we could end up on this field graduating like we are. The teachers, administrators, and parents must also take credit for our accomplishment that we recognize this evening. All of those English vocabulary quizzes, computer science programs, and tons of independent reading that these educators bestowed upon us has suddenly paid off in the form of the diploma we are about to receive. A high school education, you may think, is no big deal. We go four years, get a diploma, and on to college. This is not what it is at all. Having a high school education is the foundation for your future and everything that lies ahead for you. What you have experienced in these four years may very well be a major part of a decision you make later in life resulting in your ultimate success or failure. The old saying goes that you learn from your mistakes. Well, I'd like to rephrase that. You learn from your experience. Experience includes not only the mistakes, although a little more memorable, but also the accomplishments that you have achieved in your lifetime. Right now, you have the power to shape your future any way you want it. We are fresh out of high school with the ambition of youth. We are eager to get on with our lives and to show people that we are self-sufficient and responsible human beings. Use these past experiences to build the groundwork for your life. Make the most of it and strive for nothing but the best. I'd like to conclude with an anonymous poem concer concerning our belief in our ability to accomplish things. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you think you'd like, if you'd like to win, but you think you can't, it's almost a cinch you won't. If you think you'll lose, you're lost. For out in the world we find, success begins with a person's will. It's all in the state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's battle doesn't always go to the swifter or faster man, but sooner or later, the man who wins is the man who thinks he can. Thank you. Our second speaker is Harold Walton. <clears throat> Harold is the son of Harold and Doris Walton. Harold has been active in extracurricular activities. He's been an honor student and one of the best basketball players to attend Admiral King High School. He has received three varsity letters for basketball and was selected all county and all conference first team. Harold has also been honored by being selected to the Academic Recognition Banquet and the National Honor Society. In the fall, Harold will attend Kent State University on a full scholarship, and he plans to major in accounting. Harold Walton. The graduating class of 1988 can be compared to a great painting, just as each stroke of an artist's brush has a distinctive purpose. Each member of our class has a unique quality. That is what sets us apart from others. We express ourselves in such a manner that stands alone from the rest. However, there is one quality that is embedded in all of us, and that is the will to succeed. 
We set goals for ourselves and strive to meet them. Obstacles may block our course, but they never stop us. For each and every one of us has the ability to reach deep inside ourselves to find what it takes to come out on top. We want to get the most we possibly can out of our minds, our bodies, and our souls. To be successful, we cannot settle for less. We never have and we never will. The future has a lot in store for us and we have a lot in store for the future. Most of us will be going in different directions. Many of us will pursue a higher education, some will join the armed forces, and others will enter the workforce. Whatever it is we choose to do, we will become the best because during our four years at Emerald King, we have found the key to success, and that is education. After tonight, we will see that there is a whole new world out there waiting, but we are ready. The time has come for us to create our own great painting. The future is the canvas, our talents are the paints, and our determination, the brush. In our minds, we hold the image of what we want to pursue. All we must do now is combine them in a masterful way so that our future will eventually become its own work of art. Our uh, third and final speaker is Jerome Lighty. <clears throat> Jerome is the son of Mrs. Shirley Lighty. Jerome's activities in high school have been numerous. He's been a member of the student council, chairperson of the senior committee, president of the Admiral King Progressives, member of the Key Club, member of a number of operettas too numerous to mention here, and also a member of the Proclamation Choir. Jerome has received a grant to start his college education this summer at Bowling Green, majoring in education. Jerome Lighty. Some of the seniors here tonight, it is the end of their formal education. Many of us will be attending college and some will be going to the armed forces. For those who think this is the end, you're wrong because tonight marks a new beginning. When we first walked the halls of Admiral King back in 1984, we thought it would be such a long time before we graduated and went out into the real world. That long but short period of time has finally come. We are about to go out into the real world. The class of 1988 has been outstanding athletically as well as academically. One very good example to cite is our basketball team. They made it all the way to state this year. This class is the first class to participate in the Advanced Studies Program, which was designed to enrich and add to the academic program of students who have shown exceptional achievement. As you can see, the class of 1988 has proven to be very good in athletics as well as academics. After tonight, we'll be stepping out into a world full of new and challenging experiences. We have more important choices to make. One major choice we'll have to make is whether or not we will be successful. Being successful is up to us. We are the only ones who can determine if we'll be successful. Like the Army says, be all that you can be, because we are the only ones who can determine how far we can go and how far we will go. The future belongs to us. We can only seek to get the very best out of it. We must set our goals and strive to achieve them. There will be some setbacks, but we must learn from them and learn to work around them. We must never give up. We must strive to accomplish everything we want to achieve, such as we in this class have done for the last 12 years of our lives. In the words of a famous author, may we take as our departing motto, if at first a task begun, never leave it till it's done. Be the labor great or small, 
do it well or not at all. Ladies and gentlemen, I now will introduce to you the class of 1988. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to call upon Mr. Ron Ruskin, member of the Lorraine Board of Education. Good evening to everyone. It's uh, certainly a pleasure tonight to be able to pa pass out the diplomas to the class of 1988, uh, because this is a class that has considerable pride and spirit and achievement. And I certainly want to enter on behalf of all the Board of Education in the community, our thanks to the class of 1988 for all the things that they've achieved academically and athletically. And also I want to extend congratulations to all the uh, parents and the family and the friends because many of our young people are here today because of your help and your support. I just have two very brief thoughts that I'd like to, to say tonight. Uh, the first is that I hope that all of our graduating students will consider staying in Lorraine. You know, we often hear that uh, there's nothing here in Lorraine, uh, that there's no challenge, that there's no excitement, but we have a great deal to offer in our community. We have a beautiful lake, an asset for swimming, for fishing, for industry. We have a beautiful Black River Valley that has not been developed, but which has more potential than the Cuyahoga River Valley in Cleveland, where millions of dollars of development are. But most important, we have people in Lorraine of all races and ethnic backgrounds that really make this community great. So I hope that you'll consider that Lorraine is large enough to give you a challenge in life, but it's small enough where you have a sense of community and that you can really make a difference. And the second thing that I hope that you'll consider is that as you go through life that you'll gauge your success not by how much money you make in life, but by whether or not you, you touch people, or whether or not you, you have inner strength whether or not that you do things in your life that will make your, your heart grow and your spirit soar. Because if you do these things in life, then you really will have found success and you'll have something that no person and not even death itself can take away from you. So on behalf of the Board of Education, I want to extend our appreciation to you for all your contributions to the school system and to the community to wish you and your family the very best in the future. Okay, ladies, would you please prepare to receive your diplomas? <clears throat> Pamela Atkins. Michelle Amato, Roxanne Amiri, Melissa Ammons, Shannon Barnacle, Christina Belch, Lashonda Berry, Janice Bobek, Melissa Brinson, Florence Brooks, Lynn Casada, Rosanna Castillo, Marissa Chavez, Alice Chin, Renetta Korn, Fatima Cruz, Maida Cruz. Lara Sinsack, Alicia Davila, Alicia Davis, Laura Davis.
Michelle De Simone, Jana Demakia, Samantha Delinsky, Cheryl Dotson, Melinda Fitzpatrick, Laura Friedberg, Christina Freeman, Robin Fuller, Delilah Gaddy, Melissa Garza, Barbara Gonzalez, Cindy Gonzalez, Jamie Gonzalez, Christina Griffith, Michelle Hall, Cheryl Hawthorne, Kimberly Henderson, Deborah Herman, Wendy Hickman, Kimberly Hira, Heather Heyer, Nicole Ivy, Karen Jackson, Christian Jackson, Rita James, Pamela Jordan, Robin Carindall, Kristen Keating, Jolyn Keller, Rhonda Keith, Ethel Kelson, Amy Kohler, Susan Kurta, Bridget Kuzak, Michelle Lanning, Lucille Lenner, Geraldine Lewis, Michelle Lopez, Michelle Lunn, Levon Lurie, Christina Lynn, Charlene Majesse, Renee Massey, April Matus, Betty McCollum, Michelle McConley, Rosalind McKinney, Sherry Michael, Gretchen Mischick, Jacqueline Morales, Michelle Morris, Kimberly Narrow, Sherry Nelson, Joanne Knott, Evelyn Ortiz, Kristen Owen, Yvette Baban, Chris Palazzo, Nadine Parker, Susan Pavlik, Nicole Pearson, Martha Perez, Tawana Phillips, Michelle Plum, Angelic Price, Kelly Ray, Andrea Reese, Lynn Rittenauer, Suzanne Rogers, Deanna Romas, Lori Ross, Tamara Rowe, Latrice Rush, Rachel Rutherford, Nancy Salgado, Tracy Schroeder, Marie Schuler, Tammy Seymour, Theresa Shaw, Amy Chulik, 
Carolyn Shumela, Selma Simmons, Kiba Smith, Stephanie Smith, Tracy Smith, Jonda Sparks, Rosanna Stevenson, Bobby Stottlemyre, Karen Straka, Kimberly Sakuta, Amy Zooks, Michelle Taddeo, Tracy Tomaszewski, Stephanie Vance, Angela Ward, Lisa Ware, Holly Wada, Annette West, Anjanette Williams, Heidi Willis, Wendy Wilson, Sarah Wolak, Victoria Yunkin, Tinsel Hunter. <coughs> Okay, at this time, gentlemen, would you please prepare to receive your diplomas? John Algren, Brian Amison, Steve Andriovich, Desiderio Arambula, Mark Bennett, Mark Bernard, Preston Blakely, Donald Bobel, Stephen Bowens, Karsten Braun, Victoria Brooks, Edward Brown, William Brown, Christopher Camp, John Capers, Jared Carver, Eric Cheers, Kevin Cole, Joseph Cullen, John Comer, Herbert Cornwell, Jason Daniels, Larry Davidson, Joseph Davoli, Johnny Diamantis, <clears throat> Richard Demacchia, Jason Duff, Kirk Dahl, Aaron Dunlap, Kevin Duray, David Dury, Darius Elliott, David Fabian, Michael Figueroa, Edwin Fonseca, James Geisel, Michael Giannuzzi, 
Edward Gifford, Tony Griffin, Edward Hardnett, William Harmich, Sanque Hill, Jesse Hinton, Brian Hobart, Keith Hogan, Dwayne Houston, Randall Ritzko, Jim Wong, Juice Jartsfeld, Thomas Jackson, Dwayne Johnson, Edward Johnson, Branchett Johnson, James Johnson, Lance Johnson, Richard Johnson, Timothy Johnson, David J. Jones, David L. Jones, Ingram Jones, Keith Jones, Andrew Kacher, Michael Kacher, Jameson King, Roy Kitts, James Cody, Andrew Koss, Brian Kowalczyk, Anthony Krasinko, Mark Kroll, Joseph Sinich, Charles Latimer, Scott Lavish, Steve Lee, Jerome Lighty, Mikel Lopez, David Lucy, Scott Lunn, Arthur Lusain, William Masters, Dennis McCartney, Michael McCartney, Arthur Mead, Brian Mead, John Moore, Miguel Morrell, Victor Morrell, Daryl Morlin, Philip Myers, William Newton, Eric Nyman, Curtis Noble, Patrick O'Connor, Pablo Quiendo, Matthew Orlandi, William Peters, Laverne Payton, Michael Phillips, Michael Pitts, Nicholas Plavzic, Peter Palmeritas, Patrick Randall, Mark Remalcus, Ezekiel Rivera, Raphael Romanus, Eric Salas, Richard Slasevich, Anthony Sandoval, Ralph Saunders, William Schomer, Anthony Schuster, Mario Silva, Paul Simpson, Mark Sklerick, Sean Scoble, Brian Smith, David Smith, George Smith, Ivan Smith, 
Jason Smith, David Sosinski, Ryan Stavsevsky, James Steigerwald, Gary Succi, Anthony Telaha, Glenn Thice, Charles Thomas, Christopher Tolliver, Louis Torres, Robert Trinashevsky, Kaleeb Tuck, Frederick Tucker, Milton Velasquez, Angel Velez, Roger Velez, Richard Versace, Harold Walton, Richard Washington, Edward West, Marvin White, Matthew Wicks, Stephen Williams, Matthew Winias, Janan Gwinnick, Gregory Woolidge, Maurice Young. refrain from going on to the uh, store until after the processional. Please remain in the stands until the recessional is complete. We will let you on the field after the students the last student marches through the arches. Okay, students, please find your seats. Okay, at this time, if I can have your attention, I'd like to call Reverend Jim Smucker of the North Minister Presbyterian Church to lead us in the benediction. I would like for the audience to remain seated, please, for the graduating class to please stand.
soon as you're quiet, we'll proceed to the benediction. Go out into the world in peace. Hold on to what is good. Return no person evil for evil. Strengthen the faint, support the weak. Love and serve the Lord your God, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, may God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you. May his countenance be gracious unto you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Please let them march out, please, people in the okay, stands. Okay, commencement ceremonies from, from George Daniel Field for Admiral King. concludes commencement ceremonies here from George Daniel Field for Admiral King. Please join us again tomorrow night for Lorraine High School commencement ceremonies. And, uh, we will be rebroadcasting these commencement ceremonies all next week at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. So please join us. Good night.